I don't feel like he really knows what I go through. He's not with the kids from morning till night. Do you think he thinks it's your job? You deal with the kids, I go to work, outside yeah. the house, anything inside the house mm -hmm. is the children. Yeah. It's you, it's the home, the cooking, the yeah. cleaning, the washing is you, your job. Yeah, I don't have any help. I do it on my own. Sometimes I feel like he might stay longer at work so he doesn't have to deal with the extra stuff he has to do at home. And it seems that there's no respect for Tamara's job and what she needs to do. And she's really feeling the pressure of that. Well, I'm in Michigan, on my way to see another family, so let's take a look. Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Tamara, and we're the Amori family. We have four kids. Haley, who's four. <laughs> Twins, Gianni and Julian, who are two. <laughs> and Ashton, who is one. So sweet. Bye. Hi. I manage the family-owned business. I work about 60 to 70 hours a week. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I basically work all the time, no days off. I do it all my on my own. <laughs> okay, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> na, 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 boob. Haley is bossy. She's stubborn. Come on, let's go. Ah! She wants things done her way. Give me my juice. Come on. Stop. All right, all right, you want to stay here? Fine. Hmm. Sport princess, no doubt. The twins, they're, like, off the walls. You call her? <laughs> The twins will open each cabinet, take whatever they want. They don't care. <gasps> What'd you do? Why were you playing with that? Why? They think there's no rules, there's no limits, even though I constantly say stop. Stop right now. No, stop, no. Stop, no. <laughs> stop it, stop. You know, it's obvious this mom is under serious pressure. The minute I turn my back, the kids open the front door, go outside and run around. They'll walk over to neighbors' homes. They'll ring their doorbells. Get inside right now. If Michael was around more often, it makes it a whole lot easier. I'm serious, both of you. I just am I'm at that point where I'm frustrated. I don't know what else to do. I love you so much. Oh, my God! <laughs> Haley, Gianni, no! Super Nanny, we need your help with the kids. The kids are driving tomorrow <laughs> crazy. Well, I better get there and quick. Hello. Hi, pleased to meet you. I'm Jo. Jo Mike. How are you? Hi, very well. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, pleased to meet you, Jo. Nice pleased to meet you, Tamara. She walked in the door. Like, oh my God, I'm going to love this. Wow. You know, I'm like excited. And this is Julian. Julian. Hi. Oh. Okay. And what's your name? Haley. Haley. And how old is Haley? Haley's four. What's your name? Who's this? Gianni. Gianni. Gianni, come here. How old's Gianni? Two. And this little one here. This is Ashton, who's one. Ashton. Hi, Ashton. Say hi. Hello. How are you? You got a house full? Yes. So I better get cracking, as they would say, and uh, start observing you guys. I learned from watching the submission reel tape that Mum finds it very difficult being alone with the four kids. And when I arrived, sure enough, there was mom left on her own as Michael walked out the door. No, I'm not gonna get you up. I don't have time for that. Where, why do you have your coat? You're not going anywhere. No. When I got there, I expected mom to be really busy, busy with the kids. And all I saw was her clean all day and leave the kids to their own devices. Take my ears off. Okay, I won't take them off. Come over here. Let me touch you. taking them off. Okay, I'm not taking them off. I'm not taking them off. Stand still. Haley, why are you doing that? Haley was listening to Mum's MP3 player and she got really upset when Mum went to take it away from her. But I don't blame her. It was the only thing that was entertaining her for the whole day. So 
You'd start off in the bedrooms and then you hoover in here, do their rooms, bathrooms. That's a daily thing that you move and move around. around. Yeah. yeah. I like my bathrooms, like, really clean. I think everything has to be clean. The floors are, like, a must, a must, a must. I have so much to do before I go to sleep tonight. You know, I respect a mum who likes to keep a clean house, but not constantly at the expense of her own kids. Tamara took time off from her rigorous cleaning schedule to attend to Hayley, but she'd forgotten about that little one-year-old crawling around the house. OK, so what do you need? What do you need? What is it? Normally, I'd step back during observation, but not this time. I had to step in for the kids' safety. Look at this. It, it hurts? How'd you do that? The baby's going to... No. How'd you do it? I was going to have electric shock. Come here, baby. He's just pulling at the sockets. Oh, he was. I'm just shocked that these parents have got four kids and have had no common sense to childproof their house. And I'll leave the pug alone, darling. Leave it alone, it's just dangerous. Only adults do this, not children. The Jojo's going to bring you down from the table because it's dangerous. And there. Oh, he has fan. Mommy! Where is the safety in this house? From the wall sockets to the stairwell? I'm surprised none of these kids have been seriously injured. Tamara's been taking on all the responsibilities of running the house and her family as if she was a single mum. So I wanted to find out from her what exactly Michael does. We do have a really big issue. Like, if he comes home, he'll go right on the computer. He'll lay on the couch, he'll watch TV, he'll just do his own thing. I don't feel like he really knows what I go through. He's not with the kids from morning till night. Do you think he thinks it's your job? You do with the kids, I go to work, outside yeah. the house, Anything inside the house mm -hmm. is the children. Yeah. It's you. It's the home, the cooking, the yeah. cleaning, the washing is you. Your job. Yeah. I don't have any help. I do it on my own. Sometimes I feel like he might stay longer at work, so he doesn't have to deal with the extra stuff he has to do at home. And it seems that there's no respect for Tamara's job and what she needs to do. And she's really feeling the pressure of that. I couldn't believe it. The minute I stopped talking to Tamara, there she was, switching on the vacuum cleaner, and off she went. Sit down. You have got to be kidding me. So whilst Tamara was off cleaning a room that was already clean, I wanted to know what Hayley was doing to entertain herself. Let Judge have a listen. the rap. I mean, well, the language is inappropriate. <laughs> Whatever happened to row, row, row your boat? It's absurd. How can Tamara have this kind of music on her MP3 player and allow Hayley to listen to it? <laughs> so how far did you get? What are we down to? How many rooms we got? Um, we're basically done. I mean, I'll finish off later. Plan so away. now I'm going to, like, yeah. just go downstairs and play with the kids. And I actually thought this was never going to happen, but later on in the day, tomorrow I found time to play with the kids. Ready? Yep. OK, I'm going to clean up. Does anybody want to help me clean up? <laughs> so let's pick up all these crayons, cos they're breaking. I mean, this is just ludicrous. It really is. It's half past four. The kids have only just gone down now to have playtime, cos Mum's been busy cleaning all day. I don't know when Dad's coming home. Mum has no idea when Michael's going to be home for the evening. They've not, they've not really done anything. 
I feel like I've been here for two days because it's been so non-productive. This family needs so many things. I need to go back to basics with them. Tamara says she's overwhelmed, but these guys need to get their priorities straight. I'm going to sit them both down and sort this out. I am glad you called me in because there are concerns that need to be dealt with as soon as possible. Otherwise, later on down the line, it's going to be a whole heap worse. Let's talk about safety in the house. Mm -hmm. It needs improving. I have seen wall sockets that have not been protected. I've seen stairwells that are left open. And I'd like to tell you that we just moved here, mm -hmm. and that's why all of this is not kid-proof. This is temporary, and that's why we haven't really made it, like, kid-safe. Like, I, don't ha I haven't had time. Well, let me tell you something. You would find time if your child fell down the stairs and broke their leg or their back. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't you? It still should be safe for the kids. I'd like to talk to you about the next thing, cleaning. I saw you spend the best part of eight hours cleaning your home mm -hmm. frantically. I have four kids. My house always gets dirty. So what do I do, just leave everything alone? The more kids you have, the more work you have. Do you not agree? This is what I don't agree with. I don't agree with cleaning something that's already clean when it takes away the time that you fundamentally could spend with your children teaching and growing. I never thought about it like that. Which brings me to the next point that I want to talk to you both about, Hayley and her music. So I'd just like to go through some of those words because these are the words that they're learning. Girl shaking you shaking booty me off that in your porn star cuss her up big booty holding my when I'm on you. These are the lyrics from your music station. I don't think she's ever listened to those songs. I've never heard us listen to, I've never heard of the, the songs you're talking about. I don't know, can I see which song it is? Can, can I just stop here and can we just really address the situation? Hayley has the MP3, okay? Right. These are the songs that are on the MP3. But she doesn't know what those words mean. Oh, so that's fine. She doesn't know what means, but is that fine? Does that make it okay? It? Yeah. I mean, I'm asking you as, no. as her father. We want to have music in her life. Yes. But we want to have it age appropriate. OK, so we've spoke here about the concerns and the issues that need to be addressed. Michael, you're at work all day. And of course, all these concerns and issues are at home. It, would it be a possibility if you could make more of a commitment to be at home in the evenings? Yeah, that's, that's possible. What would you need to do? To change my working schedule. Can you really change it? Can I really change it? Yeah. Depends how to change it. So you're able to commit to some days of coming home earlier? Yes. What difference would that make to you? Huge. I could actually uh, make dinner and he could play with the kids and I like the sound of it. We need to start work ASAP. Yes. So shall we begin? Yes. Yes. OK, let's go then. You know, Tamara and Michael have definitely strayed the path when it's come to raising their four kids, and they need to get back on it. And I need to take care of something that they should have done a long time ago, and that's safety-proof their house. I've got some wall sockets here and some doorknob covers. The best thing to do is to get down from a child's level so that you can see what they see. OK, I'd like you to come down here now, right down onto a child's level. It was amazing. 
the amount of things that I had to point out to Tamara about what she needed to do. I mean, why isn't she thinking the same as me? Look at this. I don't want the little ones touching this kind of stuff. Don't mind, Rich. I had to block off the steep staircases. Yeah, excellent. Cover up sockets. Lock doors that shouldn't be open. You've got the hang of it quickly. And put all of her beloved cleaning supplies. He can get hurt if he plays with these. In one lock cupboard. Why didn't I do this from the beginning? I just feel so much safer. There we go, we're done. I'm so glad we did it. Yeah. Bye. Now that the house has been childproofed and Michael's gone off to work, I want to do something with a cleaning maniac that she wouldn't dare do with her own kids. Finger painting. Look at the paints! OK, let's put on your apron. Got to put your apron on. We're oh, just good, about ready. Oh, Gianni. And I think the most important thing, really, here is to let them know that it's all about having fun. Let them feel the fun of this activity that's happening this morning. At first, I was like, OK, she's not serious. I'm really going to do this. So we're all going to paint together. And I didn't want to stick my finger in there. I honestly didn't. This one's rad. Yeah. Put your that? finger in there and paint. And paint. Oh, it's OK. It's OK. <laughs> Just put your finger in. It's OK. We'll clean up after we're done. That woman had her children so well trained that they didn't even want to put their little pinkies into the finger pots. So, of course, she had to show them how to do it. Come on, Julian, look. Look, Mommy's going to put her finger in and, and put paint on this paper. This was just a fun activity for Mum to enjoy herself with the kids and to recognise that it's all right to let loose and get a bit messy. Put your finger in this like this. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Come on, Gianni, look. J for Gianni. No! So they weren't putting it on their hands, this finger painting. I'm like, OK, this is all my fault. What am I teaching my kids? I just felt like, oh, gosh, they're missing out. And they shouldn't be. I'm done. See, look, let me help you. I know that it must have been killing tomorrow not to pick up some cleaning supplies, but actually the fact that her kids were smiling and having fun nice. made it more enjoyable for tomorrow as she continued to enjoy herself. Yeah. Come on, let's, let's put handprints. Whoa, nice, nice. Gianni took a little longer, but he got there. It was just a great feeling. Like, it just makes me want to cry. It's such a happy feeling. Look at that. Look at their faces. They're yeah. loving it. I mean, this is enough to make you go, you know what, I'll clear out the mess after, you know? You know, I respect that Michael works really hard with his family business, but there's got to be a compromise. So we arranged that he would take a shorter day at work and come home for 2.30 but it was already an hour past our meeting time and he still wasn't home. So do you have any idea when Michael will be back? No. Would you mind if I called him? Of course not. OK. Michael said that he was going to make his family a priority, but he wasn't keeping his word. And I wanted to know why he was so late. Hi, is that Michael? Hi, it's Joe. How are you? I'm very well. I'm just wondering whether you have forgotten our... Our time? Right. Well, I would have appreciated a call out of common courtesy because that would now make you an hour late. So Michael turns up an hour after our meeting time and I needed to talk to him about his commitment to his family. I'm asking you to respect the fact that if I ask you to be back at a certain time, that's what I expect. I'm here for a short amount of time, and I want to be able to help you, but I can't help you if you're not willing to help yourself. Yeah, the kids are important, but I can't abuse my work. And you're talking about neglecting your work, but you know what's being neglected right now is your family. Joe gave me a wake-up call. I do want to spend more time at home with the kids or try to make... Not try, will make time for them. So I wanted to put Michael into the hotspot to see exactly how he would get on with the kids without Mum. So I sent her away for the afternoon. Hi. Okay. Have a good afternoon. Hi. <laughs> All right, I'll get my stuff. I'm like, OK, I like this. So I just basically got my coat on, walked out the door and left. 
Any idea what you're going to give the kids for dinner? No, but uh, ordering pizza. Pizza? <laughs> Is that what you're ordering? Pizza? Are you being serious? Yeah, I mean, that's... Huh? I don't know how to... I mean, <laughs> I don't know how to cook. Up until this point, I really hadn't seen much of Michael with the kids, so I decided to really step back and just watch how he managed with the kids. Are you looking for it? That's not nice. That's not nice. Get down. <laughs> Straight away, things got really chaotic at dinner time, and Dad seemed really confused. No gum. No gum. No gum. No gum. So I thought it was a good time to step in. Daddy wants you to sit at the table and be a good boy and eat your pizza, OK? That's what I want you to say to him directly. So he understands Gianni, what you expect from him. I want you him. to sit at the table and eat. No playing with that. You have to eat your food. Good boy. OK, loving it. Good job, Michael, all right? Do you want to eat a little bit more? You didn't just make hey, more bites. Are you asking him or are you telling him? Get Michael, if you ask him, you say, do you want any more pizza? That leaves it open to say yes or no. If you're telling him, you're saying, I want you to eat two more pieces and then you can get down. Julian, eat two more slices of pizza and you can get down. <laughs> he needed a few pointers, but overall, Michael did really good with the kids. So you see, if he puts more time into his family, Things will improve. Look, all four of them sitting here at the table. Well done to you. Thank you. You know, the problem with Tamara and Michael is that they're both not willing to work together in raising their family. And successful parenting is about doing exactly that. So I'm taking them to a place that they may feel slightly intimidated by, and the way to accomplish it is to encourage one another and cheer each other on. <laughs> Was that a, ner a nervous laugh? They were going to have to make it to the top of a 50-foot rock climbing wall. What do you think of that? It's pretty impressive, huh? Yeah, I'm not doing that. You don't want to do it. I just did. I did not like it. I was. I was just. Uh, get me out of here. Doing something challenging together as a couple, like you do as parents. He can do it. He can go all the way up there. I can't. <laughs> Tomorrow was ready to bail out. I don't think so. I weren't ready to let them both off the hook that easily. You up for the challenge? What do you think, Michael? It's fine. Again? Yes. Climbing this wall is going to be no easy task. But leave us parenting. And I wanted to show Tamara and Michael that what they would accomplish together are the skills they're going to need to reach those goals. You can come right over this way. Go on, girl, you've got it. I can't do this. <laughs> For a woman who was doubting herself so much, she sprung up that wall. Look at you, spider woman. You know, this wasn't a competition, so I did have to remind her that this was about them working together, as she so needed to encourage him. Stop for a minute. Let's wait for Michael. Let's bring him up here. I didn't realise Mike was down there. I was like, OK, he's right next to me. He's going to finish, you know? You told me you are going to be ahead of me. Hurry. There is no way. There is a way. Can't do it. Yes, you can. Come on. You know, he kept saying, I can't, I can't. I'm like, take one more step. <laughs> and I noticed with me telling him, come on, Mike, you can do it, you can do it, he came up. OK, Mike, you're going to beat me now. <laughs> it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Come on, we can do this. Oh, OK. Once they both started working as a team, they made it to the top together. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on, Michael, pull up. There you go. You got it. You got it. They say you're at the top. Yeah. <laughs> Joe's point about climbing the wall was we need to help each other out. We need to support each other, cheer each other on, and it worked. <laughs> you did it. Oh, you did really well. <laughs> These are the kind of things that you do, that you challenge yourself to. You start working together with one another and you're encouraging one another and supporting each other. You're up there, you're doing it. You're right. I just want Tamara and Michael to take what they've learned here and apply it back home now. Looking at it, I was like, I'm not doing this. But now it's like, I could do this. Yeah, she's and good there. And I could get Mike into it. Ready to do it again? <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. I swear I am. I think I've made my point, and Tamara and Michael were finally making sense of it all. So now it was time for me to cut them loose. Right, everybody. I'm going to leave you all for a couple of days. I don't know if I can do it. I hope I can. I'm more confident than I was day one without Joe. Bye. Bye. Say bye. bye. Get with it. Bye. See you soon. Let's go say bye to her. You know, I've educated Tamara and Michael that for the sake of their own family, they've got to put their kids first and not their own priorities. And I do think that Tamara's catching on. But I don't know about Michael. We'll have to see. Well, Michael and Tamara have taken in all the info I've given them. Let's see how they've got on whilst I've been away. Let's take a look at the first section here, which is play with mum. Everybody grab a sheet of paper. Come on, Julian, sit back, please. And then we're going to make something, whatever you guys want to make. What colour do you want? I should have brought more glue for everybody to have. Which one's really hard? Which one's really hard? Yeah. Why? Do you want to make a really hard one? Yeah. I am really pleased to see Mum down there playing with the kids, no cleaning, and look what fun they're having. Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Everybody's involved. Everybody's playing together. Everybody's having fun. They're loving that Mommy's with them. And the fact that they're also learning at the same time as having fun. What has it inspired you to move on and do now? Now I just want to go to the store and buy a whole bunch of activities like these that they all can enjoy. So we can do every day something different. I mean, you can see it's very, very rewarding for everybody there. Well done, Tamara. Thanks. Absolutely well done. Hey, talking about that, the MP3. Did we move along and delete some of the music on that? Downloaded all the kids' music where she was able to listen to them. And she loves it. Brilliant. OK, well, that's a good start then, isn't it? Yes. Downloading the correct, appropriate age range music and uh, moving on to doing listening games and really just enhancing and encouraging the music in Haley's life. Very pleased to see. Let's continue. not good, is it? No. You just can't go wrong as a parent to be able to just make a situation more safe for a child. Now, if you're cleaning and, say, for example, you've got a sink full of plates and cups that need to go in the dishwasher, mm -hmm. be realistic with really what's important. You know you can do that quietly when they're in bed. Yeah. And it's about letting go of one of them. Mm -hmm. And the safety option is to let go of the dishes because they're going nowhere unless you clean them. But you know your kids are going somewhere if, you, if you've not got your eyes on them. I just feel like it's still, like, hard. Oh, there's no doubt. But we can't change that <laughs> because you both decided to have four kids. OK. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's take a look at what we're going to see here. <laughs> When I come back, I'll play with you. No, I need two people. Uh, excuse me, Haley. Don't, don't leave. <laughs> don't leave. Bye. Bye. What happened? You said you're going to be home at 6. So what time are you coming home? Yeah, exactly how long? Hour. Two hours. So it's seven o'clock now, anyways. Actually, I won't need that. Daddy, Daddy. Daddy's not here. What's going on here? No, I couldn't get out of work. And couldn't get out of bed, obviously. Yeah, I, I have to get out of bed. I spoke to you when I first arrived, and you said to me, "I want to make time with the kids." You know, I've got to ask the question. I mean, are you really 
are you that interested in really spending the time with the kids? I mean, does it matter to you? Yes. How much does it matter? A lot. Then you've got to make the effort, Michael. You've got to make the effort. OK, let's recognise where we're being lazy and complacent and let's step up, all right? Yeah? Yep. We're willing to do that. So you ready for this? Yep. OK, let's get going then. Now that Tamara had put the appropriate music on the MP3 player for Hayley, I wanted to take the next step. A listening game for her that they could all play. Because you like to listen to sounds and music, I've got a game here for you that has different pictures on it. Jojo, give me a listening game. When Jojo presses this button here, you're going to hear some sounds. You have to match the sound with the picture. All right. <laughs> What sound is that? A bee. Well done. <laughs> Hayley took to the game straight away, and Mum and Dad saw that she loved the challenge. <laughs> wow, good job. <laughs> the listening game was a great thing. I'm just excited about doing all these little activities with them and teaching them, making them smarter kids. What's that? Telephone. The listening game was fun and everything. You know, this is just one example of how Tamara and Michael Yay. could really mentally stimulate Hayley. And I just hope that they continue to do that with all of their children. So we're going to play the parents' game. And I am your host for today. Before I left, I had one little quiz game up my sleeve for Mum and Dad to test them to see how much they've learned about commitment to their family. So when you know the answer, please ring the bell. I didn't know what to expect. I was kind of like, OK, what is she going to do to us now? Let's start off with MP3 player. Instead of rap music with curse words, Hayley should be listening to other songs like what? Nursery rhymes. <laughs> Disney socks. Nursery rhymes. Fantastic. The pair of you both correct. What do you do when your kids make a mess from doing a fun activity? Do we have any answers? Michael. Clean it up when you guys are done playing. Correct. Dad, what time did I say it was OK to come home at night? <laughs> You didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to put a time on that tomorrow? Yeah, I think a great time would be 5 o'clock. <laughs> the quiz was great. I got to find out what Mike knew and what Mike didn't know. <laughs> Both parents did really well at the quiz game, and it did give them an opportunity to prove to me how much they'd learned. Well, I think I'm the one who's most surprised from the pair of you. That was absolutely fantastic because it means you are putting the effort in and committed to the change. So well done, the pair of you. Congratulations. Thank you. I want to say goodbye. OK. Hey, Lee, Jojo's going to go home now. <laughs> I'm going to go on to another family and help them. <laughs> so can Jojo have a hug? You can say goodbye to me. Jojo. Yeah? Since Joe's been here, I think I've changed. I think I've let loose a little. Bye-bye, <laughs> sweetie. Jojo's nice. Say bye-bye to Jojo. Bye. Come bye. here, say bye. Bye, bye Jojo. Can you give me a hug? I wanted to know the things I was doing wrong and what I was doing right. Jump to Jojo and say bye-bye. Yeah? Bye-bye, sweetie. I'm glad Joe came to the house. I want to put the time and effort as much as possible with the kids and with tomorrow. Listen, guys, I just want to say to you before I leave, keep communicating. It's all about the kids. You know, it is all about the kids. Keep them stair gates closed and keep working at it. All right? And Michael, find time. Find time. Work, work, work. Find some time. OK. You know, reward yourself as a family because you're worth it. Me hug. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care, yeah? Thank you. You're more than welcome. I like the fact that she was honest and told me what she thought. Haley, say bye, Jojo. Bye, Jojo. Bye. I'm impressed with the effort that I've seen from Tamara because she's shown me that her children do need to come first, and they are. As for Michael, I know now that he understands, but it's going to be about him putting the time in. And if he sticks to his word, 
The whole family are going to benefit. Bye bye. Thank bye -bye. you. You're welcome. I beg you, Joe. Involved. How about you throw it to Ashton now? Let's see what Joe happens. made a great point. Like, you know, your kids come before this cleaning does, and and it does. Oh, good job. Now you catch? <laughs> and I didn't realize, like, I was missing out. And thank God they're still young, and I get to enjoy all these years. Now that I've learned it from Joe. $25. $25, do you want it? Yeah, but I don't have no money. I love playing with my kids, all four of them. It just, you know, makes my day. Oh, this is your son? Oh, uh, okay, can you sign your name? I think Tamara's a wonderful wife. She does everything for us. I'm real happy with what she does for the kids. And she's been a little bit less stressed and taking it easy. I like Mike around for Myself and the kids. The kids love his company. You know, the kids are kids need daddy. Just when he's around, things are easier on me. I think I'm more laid back. I'm like relaxed. Like okay, he's here. He's doing this. There's a change now. We have changed for the better. I just see a bigger change as the time goes by. <laughs>